I'm trying to put myself into the shoes of someone who's fighting cancer and listening to this conversation. And I can imagine that there's an enormous emotional toll. Um, energy levels are probably not super high. There's probably a lot of uh, appointments to juggle, new information to take on, information overload. Do you have any tips for helping people uh, eat well, incorporate some of the things that we've spoken about today um, without seeming like they have to spend hours and hours shopping and cooking and learning new recipes without sort of feeling the the potential overwhelm that could come with this? Yes, uh, many can feel very overwhelmed. And so one uh, tip that I give is to just try to simplify and not overcomplicate it. It is okay to not have different meals for all the meals every day. Try to reduce some of that decision making. They're already making a lot of decisions in their life and in their healthcare. Okay, at 8 a.m., I have breakfast and this is what I make for breakfast. To try to limit the decisions that they have to make and also the complexity of their meals. And another tip I, I like to give is to um, try to use, they need, it is okay to use canned and frozen, uh, pre-washed, pre-prepared vegetables. Not everything needs to be made from scratch. And also, if we save some money on dietary supplements, for example, we could use some of that money to purchase some of that pre-prepared uh, food or have some, there are some meal delivery services that uh, provide some healthful uh, pre-prepared meals that someone just needs to heat up or blend into a smoothie. There's also those options. And that if there are uh, friends and loved ones who want to support you, one way they could do that is by uh, supporting you in their nutrition. It gives them maybe really specific ways that someone can support you. For example, okay, Wednesday is the day I go in for my chemotherapy infusion. It's a long day. I'm exhausted. Could I ask a friend or family member, could you bring us a meal? that day. These are the foods that I'm able to tolerate right now. Or could you pick up my grocery delivery order? That nutrition can be a way that loved ones can also come in and, and support. Unfortunately, sometimes I do hear that they're like, well, they're bringing like all these comfort foods or spice things I can't eat. Like, well, it's okay to give those uh, specific examples of what you can eat, what you do enjoy, maybe what your family also likes too, if you also are taking care of your family. Biggest tip is to simplify, don't overcomplicate it. We don't have to have variety in every day and all the meals. We do some of that decision making and just really focus on that consistency of fueling your body. That's what matters most is consistency and fueling your body. 